Welcome back to Dragon Age 2. Last time we talked to... Wait, la what did we do last time? Oh yeah, we talked to Anders and stuff. Uh, first thing so I'm going to do this people. time... Anders and justice. That's not strictly accurate. But you are of two minds. Many people are. Now you're the one not being accurate. I thought those were the rules of this game. I never know who I'm talking to with you. Then it's fortunate it doesn't occur often. Yeah, I'm just going to let the banter go when it starts. Uh, what I was doing in here, and yeah, you probably noticed I switched out, uh, what's his name, Varric for Isabella, since we have Anders here, at, who's ranged. Uh, I was just going to try out something new. Plus, those enemy rogues always seem to kill me. Uh, first thing I was going to do here is order potions. So yeah, just a bunch of potions. Just about five gold More worth. Than commerce in this place. And uh, I was just gonna run to the hang. Oh, here it is. Yeah, let's go talk to Varric and Justice possibly Isabella. Get drunk. I don't know where she is. I think she's actually in here. Yeah, she's right here. It's like you haven't moved in three years. It's easier for people to find me this way. Do you remember the relic I told you about? The one I need to find? I've been following a lead. I'm so close I can taste it. Are you sure? Isn't that what you said last time? Oh, you mean when I went digging for that stash? Yes, that turned out to contain several badly written poems and an old boot. It could have contained the relic. I just thought I'd let you know that I may soon be taking you up on that offer of help. Rats. And here I was hoping you'd forgotten. If I learn anything new, you'll be the first to hear about it. And we get a bit of uh, friendship for that. Hello. Oh, Is cookable. Anders there. Can I speak to Anders? You can stop yelling. It's always me. Oh, good. I didn't want to talk to that other guy. You know, the stick in the mud. He can still hear you. Justice and I are one. Anyway, you wanted to talk to me? Not really. I just wanted to make sure it was you. What a dysfunctional cast of characters. And Varric should be right in here. Just hanging. Just tell me if you hear more rumblings from the Coterie about protection. Blondie's got enough trouble. I didn't catch Let that. Let me ask you something, Hawk. You made it into Hightown. I'd expect anyone else to get complacent, but you... You must have plans. Uh, let's see. I'm just taking care of my family. No plans yet. I'm simply trying to look out for my mother. I suppose after the whole business with Carver, it's a good idea to hang on to what you've got. To be honest, I thought there might be a chance you'd want to go back to Ferelden now that things have calmed down. It's good to hear you're sticking around. Uh, let's see. I can do some good here. Kirkwall needs me. If nothing else, you give this town respectability, my friend. So, we've got a whole city-state full of trouble to get into. Shall we get started? I forgot whether or not Varric likes the sarcastic responses. Come to think of it, uh, is it P that's ability? Yes. The P key on the keyboard brings up these. Alright, we're not friends or foes with her. So I guess Meryl is next. I keep hearing about this other party member named Fenris. Since this is a blind run, I really have no idea who he and or she is, and hopefully I didn't miss the quest to get he and or she in the first chapter. I'm sure you guys would have pointed it out, but let's talk to Meryl. By the dread wolf! Why is my house always such a mess when people are here? It's clean sometimes, I swear. Wait, did we already talk to Meryl? I don't remember talking to Meryl, but... Then again, I... Oh well, that's weird. 
So, first things first, I uh, guess we'll head off on some side quests. Wait, those are the two main quests. Huh. Let's see what this one is. I don't really want to run off on the main quests just yet. Let's see, speak to Emmerich and the Gallows. I had trouble with another of your women, Isabella. She stole from a distracted client. You're lucky she wasn't jailed. My women? I am but a shepherd. And what free enterprise are you oppressing now? Theft is not enterprise. Opportunities insufficiently guarded, victimless crimes. Except for all the victims. Details. Victimless details. And let's talk to Emmerich. Hello, Emmerich. The guard captain says you're still chasing disappearing acts. That's not funny. I need your help urgently. I've spent the past few years continuing my investigation into the murders of Nanette, Marin, and the other women. I believe I finally have a suspect. A man called Gascard Dupuy. Well, if I had a name like that, uh, really, that's his name? Dupuy. That's a funny name. <laughs> it's Olesian. I believe he is descended from nobility. When I became convinced of his guilt, I went to the city guard and demanded that they do something. My men raided that house. There was nothing, and I've heard no end because of it. You were reprimanded, I hope. Meredith forbade me from continuing my investigation. But she didn't say I couldn't seek outside help. And so you've come to me. And I'm supposed to be the outside help. My hands are tied. I can't do this on my own. What if one of the women who died was someone you loved? If Gascard Dupuis is guilty, he must be stopped before he kills again. Then we will investigate Dupuis, if only to put this to rest. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. At least I'll know for sure. How did they all manage to pronounce his name that way? Okay, why me? Why is it always Hawk to the rescue? I can't really answer that. You'll need to go to Gascard Dupuis' estate after nightfall. Please figure out what Dupuis is hiding. If he's innocent, find evidence to prove me wrong. It's just that simple. And that's all assuming we can trust him. Uh, let's run off and do that real fast. I'd like to get some action in. Go chase Dupuis. Uh, high town at night. These thugs are plaguing the streets. I don't see a problem in giving them the fight they want. Oh great, more of these high town thugs. Alright, first and foremost... You know, I wish we could come in on the other entrances, but... Okay, so just walk up here and take a... Yeah, take a right. The coast is clear so far. Oh, spoke too soon. Oh yeah, that's the elemental weapons kicking in from Anders. That's kind of cool. Why aren't you using Pansea? And Arcane Shield. And there goes all your mana. <laughs> What is Invisible Sister? Uh, I guess it's a, a, like a sisterhood of thieves? And why are we mowing down these guys? Maybe it's all the buffs. Let's throw Isabella a heal. And yeah, we still have some here. I'm gonna drop a fireball. 
Alright, that's my timer. Let's keep going. Okay, it looks like we have someone down here. And let's pick off this one. Might as well use my... What's it called? Uh... Quintus Grass. And now this person is after me. I can probably cut him down real fast. Let's just use this knockdown. There's a lot of people here. That is fun. Alright. Let's see. Where do we stand? Let's take off the little guys. And someone's attacking me, I assume? Yes, they are. Huh. Oddly, nothing's off cooldown. I'm gonna run away from that rogue. Rogues in cloth armor don't really agree. He's gonna try backstab, I just know he is. Oddly, not on, uh, not on me. And I guess the two rogues are still alive. Let's take these guys down. What a mess! I can't keep this up! There's always pretenders out at night. Sometimes you have to correct them. Good coin in it, too. Okay, Hawk, why are you not sheathing your staff? Oh well. I just thought of something that I haven't even touched on uh, yet in this playthrough. That's weird. Let's see. Uh, maybe they don't have it. Yes, they do. Tactics. I haven't even messed with these. I'll have to do this off camera. Uh, or off recording, whatever you want to call it. Off fraps. Maybe that's a new phrase I can use. I'll have to do that off fraps. Anyway, let's end the episode here. Thanks for watching.